G'day everyone, Bin Chicken Bricks here, and I got something special to share with you. So, I was just walking down the street, and I noticed on someone's front, uh, on the, the fence on the front, front, uh, garden. Started well, that sentence. It got away from me, yeah. They had a big, massive thing of Lego, and there was some plastic bags, and it said, please take some. So, I grabbed one of the plastic bags, and I filled it up. I didn't take all of it because I didn't want to, uh, you know, be greedy. I wanted to let some <laughs> kids from the area have some too. Um, but I just, I went through it and I picked out what I thought looked cool. Um, this was a while ago now and I'm just getting around to going through it now. So, uh, I thought I'd share it with you. Uh, all the cool stuff that I got for free. And it's pretty good. Like, there's a decent amount here. That's a good bit. That's a nice little umbrella. I like this. That's, that's a print. I think it's from Ninjago. I don't know what that is. That's definitely not Lego. Lots of Ninjago stuff. Um, I grabbed like any of these base plate type things. Anything that I didn't have. Pirate ships. Stuff. Um, things I thought would be good for mock building too. Um, I like I like the color of that one. Doors. Anyway, I'm gonna go through it and then show you what I think is the best bits I've found out of it. Six and a half hours later. All right. Well, I've sorted through it all, and this is what I found. So, first of all. I'm pretty sure this person owned a Destiny's Bounty. Um, originally I thought it was like a pirate ship, but then you know, I was like, well, where's the rest of the pirate ship? And um, the bits that I found seemed to match what I thought were the Destiny's Bounty, like these bits and the doors and the cannons and stuff, plus loads of other Ninjago stuff. Um, so I've got some cool printed and stickered pieces down here and minifigure stuff. I'm pretty sure this is the uh, cash register from the Krusty Krab. That's a sticker. And there's the sign for the Krusty Krab. So that's a sticker too. Um, there's a window from SpongeBob's house. A stickered tile of Gary. And this is coal, I believe. Yeah, coal. Um, so rest in peace, coal. That's the only minifigure we got. Apart from this guy, who I think's from a pirate Lego game, he's really cool because I've been starting to collect the little micro figure statuettes that came with the Lego games back in like the early 2010s. Um, there's also these um, bits that go on the back of the ninjas from Ninjago. I don't have a lot of Ninjago sets, so it's cool to get a lot of Ninjago pieces here. I like that we got the silver and the gold, and you can put the, the swords in. Um, they, they go in and out. Um, yeah, so that's really cool. Um, also, I thought this piece was cool. It's actually... Um, it's actually a, a golden knife. So I don't have a golden knife. So that's cool to get that. It was inside that bit there. Um, these flame pieces are awesome. So, like... I haven't gotten this in purple. That is just sick. That is sick. Um, must be from... Uh, Ultra Agents or Elves or something like that. Regular Flame Piece. Uh, the Chima Crystals, they're a standout. I also like these bits. I think they're from Ninjago Dragons or something. Sort of craggly rock bits. Um, this was interesting. It, there's that sort of space gun, which I like. Um, first appeared in Minifigure Series, series 1. I don't know why it's stuck in the back of this piece, though. And this piece is really cool. So this is like the sort of snow uh, shoe. Something you'd put on when you're walking through the snow, I imagine. I think that's what it is. Anyway, I think that's really cool. Uh, classic mug. The new style spider web. This is interesting. I don't know what this is from. Um, it's a stickered piece. And it's like a little... Something, something staring at you from inside the wood. So that's interesting. If anyone knows, please put it in the comments below. Um, also, a 
another band, so that's that's cool. That's from a Lego set, I'm pretty sure. Um, then there's lots of dragon pieces, so I don't know why this, the red dragon head, doesn't have an eye. Um, I don't know, maybe it was a sticker. I never got any of the dragon, Ninjago dragon sets, so there was probably a sticker there. Um, and this jaw piece, I don't think it goes with it. It might. Actually, it probably does, but they fit it anyway. Um, and the golden dragon's head, which was still sort of all together. Um, and then shoots the ball out. And then some other dragon pieces that were the, these feet bits. I don't know what these bits are, but they're definitely from like Ninjago or something. I like this because it's um sort of clear and I like the colours. Not sure what it's from though. Um, and these were probably like I reckon these are all like from Dragon Wings in Ninjago, so they're pretty cool. I'm sure I'll be able to do something with those. This piece interested me because um, it's sort of more of an old style. Um, from, from like cars, you go in the front of a car, so that's kind of cool, make a tiny little town car, and these are from the Ninjago spinners, so I never got any Ninjago spinners, so they're kind of cool to have, um, I reckon I could like make a mock of a snake pit or something with these, so that, that's kind of cool, I'm not sure what to do with that one, um, and these claw bits, they're all from Ninjago sets I think, or similar, I'm not sure, um, they often put them in like the kid base sets that I don't get a lot of. Uh, some gold pieces I thought were cool, I don't have a lot of gold pieces. Um, so that's cool. This one's got like a bow and arrow attached to it. Uh, some wheels, They're just the wheels that I got. That one's got a gold rim, so that's cool. Um, these bits were cool, I really like the colour um, for these wing bits. And then this one's got a sticker, that's Ninjago. Um, some more bits from the Destiny's Bounty. That's like the, um, the sail part. And I think that's all the uh, minifigure type bits. Oh, and then there were, um, there's these snake, there's another claw from a dragon. There's these, sorry about the lighting, I'm still working on it. Um, they're these snake head bits, which are cool. They're from like the season two of Ninjago. And they're prints, so I really like that, because they're prints. And these two bits, um, regular $100 sign, Re oh, note, oh, sorry. <laughs> um, SpongeBob SquarePants. And this bit, I don't know what this is. So if anybody, anyone in the comments down below knows what this is from, please tell me, because it looks cool. The H makes me think Hero Factory, but I'm not sure. Anyway, um, and then, yeah, I got some green bits, red bits, yellow, etc, etc, purple. There were some bits that looked kind of chewed up. Um, brown, etc, etc. Um, these were the base plate type bits I got. Um, not base plates, but like larger bits. Um, some of them kind of dirty. Gotta clean those. Uh, yeah, doorways and stuff. So, yeah, pretty cool. Blue. Um, these were the not Lego pieces. So, Mega Blocks and uh, the Dolphin. I quite like the Dolphin. Um, I quite like the Dolphin. I think I'm gonna keep him. And I'll just throw the Mega Blocks and stuff in with my other bricks, because, you know, when it comes to mock building, it doesn't really matter too much. <laughs> Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, oh, apart from this one piece here. Uh, this is really cool. It looks like it's from an older town set. Um, an old ambulance or something. Don't, really, don't do a lot of hospital stuff, so I'd like to see some more hospital stuff from LEGO. Um, yeah, that does... Actually, I'm pretty sure that is a lot older, because these bricks, they're usually hollow, and that those bits at the top, see they're not hollow? That's interesting. Yeah, pretty sure that's that's an old piece then, I like that. Um, okay, so I looked into it and it actually is a piece from the 80s and 90s. Um, as you can see from the Spongebob window piece that we got in the same hall here, it has those um, inverted studs at the top. Kind of hard to tell because it's clear, but it means you can like um, put a, put one, like a, 
pole connection in, in it like that. Whilst um, this one, it doesn't have those. So, and this SpongeBob piece was from like 2006, so it's, it is quite a bit older. I worked out, um, it came out in, in three sets. This is it, that's its um, uh, number ID. That's the piece there, and it only came out in three sets. Uh, this little car vehicle from 1987, uh, it's just called Red Cross. Um, this other sort of build and store chest, it was called, from 1990. And the Med Star Rescue Plane, set number 6356, from 1988. So that's the plane there, and there's that little cross piece. So that's really cool, and I'm super glad to have to have this in our find. Um, and it's just so strange that it was mixed in with all the newer bricks from all the more modern sets. Um, just really shows how uh, how you can like different generations really like can pass on Lego to younger generations. And so this is probably something that belonged to the kid who used to own the Lego's parents. Um, so yeah, that's probably the coolest thing we found. There was also this. I don't know if it's Lego or not. I honestly, I can't tell. It looks like it looks like a beard of some big figure, but I I can't place it. I, I don't know. I just it doesn't have the Lego stamp on it. Um, let me know if you guys know. I also forgot to mention this steel bag of like Technic pins. So that's pretty cool. Um, it's in like a steel bag. So yeah. All right. So, thanks for watching this whole video, and I will... Oh, yeah, these bits back here. Um, that's from one of the insect sets. I wish I got more of those. Um, they're kind of cool. These are all just pieces that I saw that I liked that I grabbed because I didn't want to take all the stuff. Anyway, that's all of it. Thanks for watching. See you later. I forgot the boulder piece and the gonk toy. Uh, must open border piece. Uh, uh, border piece. Punctuate. Oh. Uh.